All right, so this month I'm going full booktube and doing the 2021 Asian Readathon. Weird fact about me. When people ask, I say I'm Asian and I identify as Asian, like Russian Mongolian to be specific, but I am mixed as hell. And growing up, I wasn't really perceived as Asian, at least not very often. Like most people can clock me as Asian now, but that was not how my experience growing up was. Despite being Asian, I don't really know what it's like to grow up Asian in America. Everyone thought I was something different and I have a Russian name. And even like my family, like we're not so Asian, like I'm a Jersey girl raised by Jersey girls who were in turn raised by Asians from Europe. Like our motherland is Belgium. So you know, it's complicated. But anyway, I'm in a reading mood lately and I knew about the readathon before May started this year. So I figured I'd do it. For anyone wondering, it was started by With Cindy, formerly known as Read With Cindy. Um, and she set it up very flexible. She's got five uh, challenge components, which I will read because I have not memorized them. So number one, read any book written by an Asian author. Number two, read any book featuring an Asian protagonist. Number three, read any book written by an Asian author in your favorite genre. Number four, read any nonfiction book written by an Asian author. And number five, read any book written by an Asian author that's not US centric. So like it takes place somewhere else. So you can like mix and match these or you can combine them. Like you could narrow this down to like one single book, your one book readathon. There is one rule is that each book has to be from an author from a different area. Like you can't read five Japanese authors, which made it really fun tracking down the books. Like it took me hours to figure out this book list. So I'm going to start in order. Number one, we're reading The Cardigans by Cole McCade. This one's about homicide detectives in Baltimore. So it has the added benefit of being like adjacent to my genre. I really need to read more, more crime thrillers because just need to, I need to brush up my crime thriller knowledge. How about that? The author is like me, like mixed three ways from Sunday. I believe he is a bi, uh, he, him, envy. I believe his, his bio is very unique, but, um, his books are very highly rated. So I'm looking forward to that. This book is the first in a series of 24, if I'm doing my math correctly. So hopefully it'll be excellent because I am a sucker for a super long series. Challenge 2. Read any book with an Asian protagonist. For this one, I'm doing Mugimoto Sanpo no Skinamono by, uh, what's, what's the name? Sumi no Yoru. Now, this one's like actually Japanese. Maybe it doesn't count, but it's like Japanese, Japanese. It should count, right? That's still in the world of things. I'm only saying that because I feel like this is supposed to be supporting the English book market of Asian, Asian authors in the English book market, but it still counts. It still counts. So it's about a librarian named Mugimoto Sampo, which is a very strange name, and about her daily life. It's a slice of life novel, so well, there's there's really no story, it's just her daily life. These kind of stories are actually very popular in Japan, at least more popular than in English speaking countries. To be honest, not really my cup of tea, but this one seems like it's funny, I've heard it's funny friend has recommended it to me, so I'm trying it out. Number three, read an Asian author in your favorite genre. I'm choosing Star Daughter for this one by Shweta Takrar. This one's a fantasy by a Desi author. It's about like a half human, half star who injured her father accidentally with star power. And like the only way to heal that injury is to get like a full star person to fix it. And they're like, hey, we'll do that, but you gotta do something for us. Honestly, I've never been a fan of the stories where the MC is fixing a problem that she created, but this one does seem interesting. I've had it on my TBR since before the book even came out. So knocking that one out this month. So number four, nonfiction. So for nonfiction, I chose um, the Ace book by Angela Chen. This one might be cheating <laughs> just a little bit but it is a non-fiction book by an Asian author, so there we go. 
I've been wanting to read this book for a while because it shows up in discourse a lot on like Tumblr. And I've always thought to myself that I should give it a look, you know. And even at one point I had an opportunity to get it for free and I did not take it. So whatever. <laughs> so yeah, nonfiction book by a Chinese author. Really not a fan of nonfiction books. So it took me a while to find one that I was like interested in reading. Here we go. And then last, number five, Wicked Fox by Kat Cho, Korean author. This is another one that's been in my TBR for a very long time. It's been almost two years. Wait, this is a 2019 book. Yeah, it's been almost two years. Oh, okay. It's a fantasy romance between a Gumiho and a human. Gumiho are the iconic nine-tailed fox demon spirit, whichever mythology you're looking at. And um, basically, in the story, they have to like eat the energy of men to survive. And uh, our protagonist has been eating the energy from evil men because who cares about them? So she she hunts down evil men to suck them dry. Kind of like Edward Cullen when he was a murderer for a brief amount of time. I gotta sneak in Twilight somewhere. It's gotta happen. It's kind of fun trying to find places to put that in. Did I mention it takes place in Seoul? That is the, um, the non-US centric aspect. I think I did. I can't remember. So those are the five books I have on tap for the readathon. Um, I do have to finish Winter's Orbit because I have already started reading that and I won't be able to read another book until I finish that because it's on my brain. Like I want to be reading it right now, kind of. And then I'm also uh, buddy reading A Serpent and Dove with a Friend. So those two will be on the back burner. Those are not part of the readathon, but I will be reading them this month too. Um, not counting the read along book. I'm going to be reviewing six books this month, so that's going to be two books a week. Let's see if I can pull that off. Asian readathon details down in the description. Also, I will be linking the details to the stories down below. The Japanese story is only in Japanese, and it was really hard to get a hold of the ebook, so I won't be putting those details in the bottom, but all the other books I will. Anyway, see you next week. And we'll find out if I was successful in this endeavor. <laughs> but so basically, it's an it's a slice of life novel.